Hey YouTube, this is Marcus again. And uh, in my last several videos, I've been sharing on uh, overcoming trials and, and getting through discouragement. And uh, I want to share in a passage of scripture that uh, I really feel that oftentimes gets overlooked and just read as a nice little story that, you know, the Jesus walking on the water in Matthew uh, 14. Now I want to go to, to this again because it really says quite a bit about our saving God, about the, the saving hand of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, J Jesus was the one who actually told the disciples, get in the boat and go cross the sea. So the, the disciples, they were in obedience. You know, and, and there's times when we're in obedience in our life, and then we run into storms, and we're asking the question, why? Why am I going through this? Jesus sent those disciples that way, and they ran into the storm while he was in the mountain praying. Jesus, being the saving God that he is, came down from that mountain. But there was a storm. And a, and a sea being tossed with waves, waves and wind that was separating Jesus from the disciples. Is there something that's separating you that you feel like that's separating you and Jesus? You know, is there something big in your life going on and you feel like, you know, I'm so far away from God, there's no way he's, no he's going to reach out and save me. There's no way he's going to get to me. Well, I'm pretty sure those disciples were, were thinking the same thing when they were in that boat. They were thinking, uh, the master, he's in the mountain. Uh, we're in trouble. We're going to die. But the Bible says in Matthew 14, 25, that in the fourth watch of the night, very interesting, too, because that's the latest watch in the night. So they were struggling all night long. You know, Jesus could have came earlier if he wanted to. You know, so maybe you're thinking, man, I've been going through this trial so long. I, I, just, I just feel like Jesus is never going to answer me. Well, I just want to encourage you with that. You know, Jesus shows up sometimes in the late hour. You know, First uh, Peter 1, 6 and 7 says that the trying of our faith is more precious than that of gold. You know, the Lord's doing something in us when we're going through trials. He's strengthening us. He's making us a better person. You know, and, and a lot of times those hurts and pains are coming out, and we're just, we're asking why and where are you, Jesus? And I'm pretty sure those disciples were asking the same thing, but then Jesus shows up on the water, walking on the waves, and says, hey, be of good cheer. It is I. Really, Jesus is saying, hey, the answer has showed up. I am the answer. I am that I am has showed up. I am the answer. Whatever you're going through in your trial, your situation, Jesus is that answer. And then Peter, being the, 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 you know, the disciple that he was, the rough guy that he was, well, well, if it's you, Lord, then allow me to come to you by walking on the water. And he jumps out the boat. And he took some steps. But then, you know, many times Satan, he'll use things to di distract us off of Jesus. And the wind and the waves were blowing there. And Peter, he looked off, took his eyes off of Jesus, started to sink. But then Peter prayed an amazing prayer. Lord, save me. And immediately, the Bible says Jesus reached out and saved them. No questions asked. Immediately, he reached out and saved them. You know, Isaiah 59 one says that his hand is not too short that he can't reach out and save you. Don't think that God can't answer your prayers. You may think, man, my marriage is too far gone. Man, my health is too far gone. You may think, man, these hurts inside of me hurt too much and I'll never be healed. I'm telling you, no matter what you're going through in your life, our God is mighty to save. I did a video last night, and Angel from uh, Virginia puts that in the comment section. Our God is mighty to save. Right on, because you know what? That is the, the point of what I'm saying. Our God is mighty to save. Jesus' saving hand reached out and grabbed Peter. And save them for sure death. You know, in, in, in Mark 6, 38, he said the, the, that same passage says that Jesus would have passed them by, but they cried out to him. So he came and, and he reached and saved them. He came onto the boat and, and led them to safety. And he even says that in Psalms 107, how he leads us to safety. So no matter what you're going through in your life, I just want to encourage you, keep seeking the Lord Jesus Christ. Keep praying. Keep believing. Be persistent. Be bold. And remember, that storm is under your feet. Jesus walked on that storm. That very storm was under his feet. And the devil is under your feet. Don't get discouraged. Keep praying. Keep believing. If you need prayer, please leave that in the, in the, in the comment section or send me a personal message. And if you uh, want to pray for salvation, again, send me a personal message. But I just want to encourage us. Let's keep pressing. Keep believing God for the things that we are believing him for. Let's not give up. So until next time, guys, God bless you. Good night.